Good afternoon from Bali, everyone. It's Anifa Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today, I want to talk about uh, something very central to, I'm going to say, all religions. And it's Easter today. And Easter, of course, is such an important occasion for a lot of religions. We'll say Christianity or Catholicism, especially, but a lot of religions actually recognize this this day is very very important and meaningful and I want to focus on something that is brought about from Vedanta and Vedanta you would think well here we're thinking about Christianity and Catholicism and yet we're talking about Vedanta and this is for us to recognize that there's such a similarity amongst all religions and the root of truth and the essence of man and this is interesting to me I hope that you will understand this similarity in the depth of meaning of whether we think of Easter and we think of Jesus's um, constant words of what's in me is in you and Vedanta which says the same thing so the Vedanta might use the Sanskrit term tattvam asi and tattvam asi means that thou art and so I thought I'd start with this first quotation which means or which says this is by Swami Vivekananda and this says the essence of Vedanta is that there is but one being and that every soul is that being in full not a part of that being now you know in duality we think of ourselves as part of god or you know god's creation so it's it's a part that coming from god but a part so in a lot of religious duality we will think this but when we're thinking about even duality christianity might think about duality and Islam might think of duality, Judaism might think of duality, and yet when we look at the essence, it's the same because the same things are said by the leaders of these religions as in spirituality of all sorts, of what is within God force is within us. And we can also look at it as we ourselves, humans, have created what we believe God is. So that is a creation, and yet it's the same energy. It's come from us, and or we've come from that, and it's the same, it's the same. So this, I thought I would also link in or tie in with the idea of meditation. And in meditation, remember that we think of no thought, the absence of thought. And here I've just put in a thought in your mind, hopefully, that you can reflect on about this same energy from divine energy and human energy, it's the same energy, flowing through human form and this quotation is by Ramana Maharshi this quotation says absence of thoughts does not mean a blank there must be one to know the blank knowledge and ignorance are of the mind they are born of duality but the self which is the higher self is beyond knowledge and ignorance it is light itself and this is the experience that many people may get to or hope to get to or maybe wish they get to or maybe this is why people do meditation but really in meditation i wouldn't recommend that there's a goal if we just clear the mind for this absence of thought which is also not a blank right this is not it's nothing it's no thing there's no thing that no thing like not a picture not an image not a word there's no thing that's necessary there it's this emptiness a space of creation that space of creation is divine that energy does not need human thought and this is why there is a magical space in that space of meditation when we're truly deeply in that depth of meditation which i would love for each of you to experience yourself and i certainly know that some of my clients are enjoying this experience as we're working through these things together and i welcome you to join us too and you know that i work one-on-one -on -one with people so i welcome you to do this and even if you're doing this in your own time fantastic and know what you are doing before you begin because then your intention is very clear in your work and I wanted to finish today with one more quotation. <clears throat> and this is also by Swami Vivekananda. And this quotation says, the Vedanta recognizes no sin. It only recognizes error. And the greatest error, says the Vedanta, is to say that you are weak, that you are a sinner, a miserable creature, and that you have no power, and that you cannot do this and that. And isn't this interesting? So when we think, okay, we think about Christianity, thinks about original sin. And, Vedanta thinks of no sin, only error. And 
you know I love language, so it's important for me to make sure that you think about this and reflect on it only for yourself, that there is error. Error, humans can make error, yet divine makes no error. There is no error, and I don't believe any one of us would doubt that, that from divine energies, there is no error. So even if someone is atheist, we can see the perfection in things as they are. Now, does our human mind recognize and accept that, that this is exactly right? as it is. Pure acceptance is not so easy for the human mind to achieve or to accept, <laughs> but it's very easy for divine energy to accept and appreciate and love. And this is the space where that magic comes from. From that acceptance comes, I believe, miracles. I hope that you will reflect on this and think about it and work from this space so that you can actually enjoy this experience yourself this being, which is such a fabulous space. I wish this for all of us. I wish you a fantastic day ahead, and I hope you know, transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.